If you take care of your morning, your life will be better. Warren Buffett's Advice for Young People Who Want to Be Rich One day when I was in college, I went to a particular place to study and when I was going, I saw this group of about four guys arguing. I think they were arguing about football. I passed them by and spent about one and a half hours where I went to study. I really enjoyed my studies as I learned new things I never knew before. However, while coming back, I met the same guys at the exact spot where I left them. It was still an argument about politics and soccer. Then it occurred to me that the same time certain people spend to make progress is the exact time some other people waste on little or useless things. In this video, I'll be sharing with you one of the most valuable advice from Warren Buffett which I believe can help you to become rich and successful in life. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now here's the thing, Buffett is a cool, lovely old man. He has spent a reasonable number of years offering valuable advice to young people and anyone who is willing to listen and I think one of the most valuable advice Buffett ever gave is, keep control of your time and you can't unless you say no. It's unfortunate but true. Most of us own our lives but we are not in control. Other people come into our lives with their agenda and they bribe us to give up our own time for their own purposes. Some other times, our inability to say no makes us to sit down and joyfully waste time. Time and Life I consider myself very fortunate in life and the reason why I think I'm fortunate is because very early in my life, I discovered that there's a very close relationship between time and life. When I was 12, I loved the TV, the soccer and anything of such nature. However, when I was around 14, I read a book that made me hate the TV and most things that come with it. So I stopped watching TV, tried as much as I can to never waste time with other people's life and to say no to as many things as possible. Now here's the thing, time is life and life is time, they, they both are inseparable. Bruce Lee said, if you love life, don't waste time for time is what life is made up of. Remember my first story earlier in this video, how I went to learn while some guys of my age spent the same time arguing the life of others? This happens every minute of the day. The very same time some people waste doing little things is the same time others use to learn or do things that matter. Keep control of your time and you can't unless you say no. The 10,000 Hours Rule Malcolm Gladwell wrote a book titled Outliers and in this book, Gladwell shares his studies about successful people and how long it took them to achieve great success. He then came to the conclusion that it takes the average of 10,000 concentrated effort to become great at anything. A few people have disagreed with Gladwell's theory of 10,000 hours and that's fine. It may not be 10,000 hours, it may be 7,000 hours or even 5,000 hours. What we can all agree on is that it does take a whole lot of time to achieve anything worthwhile. The problem about this is that if you waste time on little or useless things, you've got no 10,000 hours to invest into your music, athletic or entrepreneurial dreams. Robert Greene wrote a book called Mastery. In this book, Mr. Robert told the stories of great people in history and how they became so great. None of these people achieved meaningful success with a half-hearted commitment. Instead, people who achieved meaningful success in life say no to almost everything and concentrate all their life on a few things that matter. Your time is your life. You have to master how to convert the time you have to whatever other things you want out of life. You have to learn how to say no. No to most TV shows. No to unnecessary argument. No to many hours on social media. No to little talk and small dreams. No, no, no. Keep control of your time and you can't unless you say no. The Search for Pleasure 
Over the years, I've heard people saying all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Now that Jack wants to play, an average American now spends 11 hours each day consuming different media and according to a study I read from Brian Tracy, an average salesperson only has 90 minutes of productive activities per working day. You think about that. Because all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, we now play all day wasting 11 hours and investing just 3. The reason is because we are in search of pleasure and the reason why Jack needs 11 hours to consume media is because Jack don't have interesting jobs. If you don't want to be like those Jacks who waste half a day on little things, try and do what you care about. People who love their jobs don't need 11 hours of media consumption. They have a job that is fun so they don't need much of extra entertainment. The Story of Michael Jackson Many years ago, I read the story of Michael Jackson. I read that Jackson trained 8 hours every day. That was where the magic, the great dance and the great music came from. It was not just talent. Talent isn't enough. It was conscious, determined practice day after day and you need a lot of time to do that. Look around you today and see those great creations. The wonderful inventions we enjoy today, the great products, the great music, the life-changing books, the innovative businesses. They are all products of long hours of trials and errors. If you want to achieve greatness in life, you have to concentrate your life on what matters and say no to almost everything else. Keep control of your time and you can't unless you say no. The 3 Blessings of Life Not all of us are lucky in life but most of us are. There are 3 blessings of life and if you have any one of these, you should not be poor and those 3 gifts are money, talent and time. If you have money, you can waste it and end up poor but that shouldn't happen if you're smart. If you have talents, you can end your life in poverty and failure but if you're smart, you should be able to use your talents to create wealth and success. Now what I hear most young people say is, I don't have money. Yes, that may be true. Some other people may say, I don't have talent. That may be fine too. But do you have time? You probably do. Now if you have time, it's as valuable as money and talent put together because you can invest that time. You can acquire new profitable skills. You can practice your skills, you can pursue your dreams, you can fail and fail and try again. You can turn your time to anything you want in life but you have to learn how to say no to many time-wasting activities. Take judicious care of your morning Most people waste time and that wouldn't have been a bad thing. What makes it worse is that we waste even the morning. Hours in the day are not the same. 6 am isn't the same as 6 pm. What you achieve within 2 hours in the morning can take you 5 hours in the evening because when you wake up in the morning, your brain and body is at their best states. Even if you want to waste time, can you please waste the evening? If you want to watch a movie, can you please watch it in the evening? If you want to spend 5 hours on social media, can you please do it in the evening? If you take care of your morning, your life will be better. This is not to encourage you to waste all your evening. Instead, I think if at all you have the need to entertain yourself and waste some time, it should never be in the morning or afternoon. In conclusion, don't ever forget that we don't have a life. None of us has 70 years. All we have is the time and it's very short and irredeemable. We don't have many minutes in a day and any second wasted is gone forever. If we truly care about our life, we'll care about the seconds and minutes. Keep control of your time and you can't unless you say no. Say no to little things. Say no to many hours on social media. Say no to gossips. Say no to unproductive argument. Say no to many hours on TV shows. Stay focused on what matters and you'll be successful.